What's up fish tank people? Dustin's Fish Tanks bringing it to you talking about an algae mystery. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. So in today's video, I'm gonna unpack an algae mystery that happened in my daughter's F-35 aquarium. You recall this aquarium was set up and kind of retooled before I went to Aquachella, bro. My young daughter Maya called me out on why her tank wasn't getting any love while your daddy was going out of town to go to a trade show. So a couple weeks ago, I hooked her tank up and put a bunch more plants in there. And I left basically everything alone before I went out of town. All of a sudden, I come back and we have a giant mess of algae. So in today's video, this is for most of you parents out there, I'm gonna give you guys kind of a checklist to go through to figure out how you're getting algae in your aquarium and what you can do to stop it, fight it, and kill it. So we're talking algae, we always wanna talk about heavy plant growth, but I do wanna show some really insane plant growth. All right, I'm six foot, okay? Look at this plant right here. This is my red stem tally out of my pond. I just absolutely had to show this. This is the one I took to Aquachella that I haven't had the time to plant yet. But this plant is going absolutely bonkers. I totally love it. Um, yeah, goes with me wherever I want. So I just had to show that real quick. But let's go talk about Messy Maya's room and Messy Maya's messy tank that I was trying to figure out how I screwed it up. Hibiscus cameo. Okay. So it never fails whenever Dusty goes out of town, something happens to his aquarium. I was at Aquachella, bro, rocking the new merch that I basically haven't taken off. You can click the links in the description box and support your boy with the Koi and Krenum shirt. But I'm at Aquachella, and before I leave town, I do what's right. I go to my daughter's aquarium, I drain it like 50% down, I do a couple of water changes, I make sure the timer is on, I add more plants. This is like, I don't know, a 15 gallon aquarium or so, and I do a nice big water change. Th nice light. This aquarium contains exactly one betta fish. One betta fish, by the way, which has more personality than any other fish I've ever owned in my entire life, and likes me more than my parents do. Click the links around here and check out some of my top five fish with the best personalities. So I go out of town, I do the water change, I do the work, it's one fish. It's one fish in a big tank with a heavy plant load. Life should be good. Nothing should be happening to this aquarium. But when you go out of town, things happen. So when I come home from Aquachella, bro, I go into Maya's room and her tank looks like this. Now look, this is not how it's supposed to look. I'm tired of making videos where I have algae all over the place, but I feel like this can be a valuable lesson to you all. So we're gonna unpack the checklist of why this happened. This is the better fish that greets me and likes me more than my mom and dad does. I love you fish. Okay, well look at this. Let's unpack this and go through the checklist of what to look for and what's causing the algae. Step one is a two part thing. Algae, it involves light. And we're gonna break this into two parts with the light component. Then we got more components, not just light. Step one, light. Are your lights on a timer? Check, Dusty checks the box. We have a timer, this is the timer. A timer can save you all kinds of time, energy, aggravation, because guess what? The sun goes around and comes up and goes down every day, and it's on a timer. And your aquarium should be on a timer, okay? But just because your aquarium is on a timer doesn't mean you got the time right. Let's talk about step two of lighting. But it's not just about having your lights on a timer. It's how long are your lights on the timer? I love these timers right here, okay? This is like max five bucks, and this is a 24 hour timer. Now how this works is this, it's real simple. You just push the little things in when you want the lights to be on. So this is 24 hours in a day. You set it to how many hours you want the lights on. Folks, I've said it a million times. This is six hours, almost six hours. I'm doing it while I'm making a video, but basically this is six hours right here, okay? You got a six hour photo period. I recommend you start at a six hour photo period, okay? You don't need your lights on 12 hours a day. You don't work 12 hours a day. Your tank doesn't need to work 12 hours a day. You don't need your lights on for 12 hours a day, okay? So step one, get a timer. Step two, set that timer to start at six hours a day. We can talk about the variables of lighting duration longer, but basically start at six hours a day. So I'm going through this checklist. Let's go back to Maya's tank and see how long her lights are on and if the timer's working. Okay, let's check the timer out. We go down here. Same basic concept, little Timex, Timex takes a lick and keeps on ticking here. We got the timer. This timer, this timer is only on for what? Three hours a day? Timer's checked, timer's good. These are great, you just spin a little knob, light comes on, spin this little knob here, boom. Lights go off. Again, 
Show you again. You want to turn your lights on to do some random maintenance? You spin the timer. You don't flip the light switch on. You switch the timer on. Boom. Lights go back on. Very easy. So, we're talking about lights. The timer is on. The timer is only on for three hours. Say it as serious as you can, Dustin. How on earth did we get algae when we only had the lights on for three hours a day and there's only one fish in a pretty heavily planted aquarium? Let's go on to the next thing. Let's talk about food. Let's talk about waste. Let's talk about things that cause algae. Hey, Maya, did you feed the fish while daddy was out of town? No, I didn't feed the fish while daddy was out of town. Okay, great. So the fish didn't get fed, which means there's not too much excess waste going on in this aquarium. Well, maybe it's just overly stocked with fish. There's too many fish. Obviously, that's ruled out because it's one better fish with more personality than any fish you ever own. Food and waste is ruled out. All right, so we've covered light, we've covered food. Now we're going to talk about variables that aren't quite as big of components as light and excess nutrients in the tank, but nonetheless, it should be discussed. This is a Fluval 106 canister filter. Absolutely love these things. It comes up through there. It's a pretty wicked design here. But we have a really awesome hardscape from our friends at Brooklyn Hardscape. Shout out to my man Kevin Kelly. Love him. And that could be holding us back from the water flow. Let me explain. You see the outputs of the 106 come back here. They are rammed directly into the back of a hardscape. Okay, so maybe it's a water flow issue. Well, I added this little AquaClear 20 on top of it as well, which should be doing enough to get the water flow moving. Okay, so that's the water flow issue. You can see here closely, there is a little bit of water flow. You can see the water flow coming off of there. Water flow's moving. Water flow really shouldn't be an issue, but if the water flow was more, maybe this algae wouldn't have stayed on there. That is the question. We've talked about light, we've talked about excess nutrients, we've talked about water flow. There is one other component worth talking about just from like a last resort kind of thing, and that is temperature swings. Look, this tank is equipped with uh, an M50 heater from our friends at Fluval, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, yeah, you can see it's actually on right here. So we do not have to worry about the heater being unplugged. Please note we have actually killed a fish in this tank when it got too cold. So the heater is plugged in, not into the timer, but into the power strip. Maya knows, by the way, for all you parents out there, not to ha have your kids set up with something like never touch any of these plugs. So she knows never to touch any of those plugs, filter, heater, etc. So it's not light, it's not excess nutrients, it's not water flow. It's, it, might, it might be water flow, but it's not temperature. How on earth did we get this out? Some of y'all are parents. Some of y'all have kids. Some of y'all realize that uh, sometimes when you're a parent, there are simply mysteries that somehow never get solved. So I go home and I'm like, why on earth is the tank covered in algae? I just did a 50% water change, scrubbed the whole thing and added more plants. The tank is on a timer. It's got decent water flow. Nobody's feeding the fish. Um, the heater's working. Things should be good in this tank. So I go up to Maya, I'm like, yo Maya. Hey Maya, what's up honey? Um, did you guys feed the fish while daddy was gone? No, we didn't feed the fish. Oh, okay. Maya's lips are sealed. She's not saying nothing. I asked the wife, I'm like, hey honey. I was out of town. Did anything happen to the aquarium? Uh, anything going on? She goes, oh, I forgot to tell you. Yeah, Boone's over. He spilled a bunch of fish food in the tank. That's right. It was a neighbor boy. His name's Boone. Boone came over and fed the fish. Maya told me it was a certain amount of fish food. My wife told me the entire top of the aquarium, the entire surface of the aquarium was covered in fish food. And that, my friends, is what caused the giant algae mess that had Dusty Riddle. Boone, I want to ask you a question, ma'am. It's, did you feed the, the betta fish? Oh. Maya's fish? Yeah. It's cool. You're allowed to feed it, man. It's all good. He fed him a lot. How much, how much up, was it? Like, like, I was it like, was a lot. Dad, like, I didn't even Let have to Boone talk. Shirt. No, you're good, Maya. What's up, I, Boone? I fed her. I fed it because Maya didn't tell me how much I fed her. That's fine. So I just did this. A little bit? No, I fed a bunch. Yeah? I didn't know. It's very have a bunch of algae on it. Yeah, it's all right though. It happens. Everybody gets it. Oh, not not too much more than that. Like that's okay. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's fine now. Like you can be honest. Was it like triple that? Five times that? No. Way more than that? Two times that. It's all right. Lesson learned, man. Double that. How are we gonna fix this? You 
ready? This is gonna freak you out. I know a lot of you can't do this. It's really difficult to do this. You're gonna have to use what's called patience and you're not gonna look at your aquarium because what we're gonna do is this. We're going to black out this tank. You can click the links around here and check out the no maintenance tank, how it looked when I entirely blacked out the tank. Look, you can scrub, you can leave the lights on and you can do the work and you can keep going, but all you're gonna do is spread it around. You black the tank out, four days, no light, no food, no nothing, starve that sucker, fast that sucker, pull all of it out after it dies, do a huge water change and restart. Don't try and combat algae by keeping the lights on. Kill the lights for four days, black the tank entirely out. Do me a favor folks, click the links around here and check out more videos on this topic or drop me a comment on what's happened to your aquariums when you've gone out of town with your kiddos. Now if you excuse me, I gotta go check out Greenhouse 2.0. Stay tuned for an update on that this weekend. Hit the like button, subscribe button, and share button, and tank on everybody. Love ya.